OK, so the new school year is already underway for most schools. Now, a lot of kids naturally going to be seeing the school nurse for a variety of reasons. Yeah, as Ken's five's Jeremy Baker reports, one state mandated screening for youngsters aims to give students proper support so they can thrive in the classroom. That screening is for scoliosis, a condition involving the curvature of the spine instead of a straight line. The effects can range from mild discomfort to a lot of pain, and in extreme cases, it can impact your organ function. It's fairly common. Um, it's very uncommon that patients have to have surgery for it, but it is something that we see in our clinics pretty frequently. Other symptoms of scoliosis include back pain, difficulty standing upright, shoulder blade prominence, breathing difficulties, and fatigue. The American Association of Neurological Surgeons says scoliosis affects about 3% of the U.S. population. That's close to 9 million people. Girls are more likely to develop the condition than boys, and the risk of the condition increases with age, with young girls being screened earlier than boys. Typically for girls, it's fifth and seventh grade, and for boys, it's usually eighth grade. Uh, they'll do a screening exam at school, which involves looking at them from the front, looking at them from the back, looking for asymmetry of their shoulders, their hips, their spine. Dr. Keck says if there is rotation of their ribs, that's when an x-ray is needed, and it's important to catch it early. All those screenings are designed to get your pediatrician and your surgeons to see you before your curve has progressed to the point of surgery. For more information about scoliosis and bone health in general, we have links with this story on Kens5.com. Jeremy Baker, Kens5.